Hey guys, Darian here. Sorry, I didn't get on last night. I ended up getting um, a really bad headache and super sick for whatever reason with this pregnancy. Um, headaches and vomiting seem to be uh, a common theme these days, so I apologize for not um, getting on last night. Um, just a couple of like thoughts that I kind of wanted to talk. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how um, things are going for you guys. Um, but something that I have um, come to realization um, through personal development and different things is that I'm not in this business to be a 15 star diamond. I'm not in this business to be a, the top coach. And I'm not in this business to um, be an elite coach. Those are all perks and would be awesome accomplishments um, when that happens. But I feel like when I focus on that, I end up like not hating this business, but I end up not being motivated and not really wanting to um, work this business. So I signed up as a coach because I wanted to help people and um, I've been in this fitness industry for gosh, like 15 years now, and I strictly joined the industry because I loved helping people, I loved letting people feel good about themselves um, for, you know, whatever they're going through for life. I loved letting people take time for themselves and um, to feel important and um, all those little perks that come with our challenge groups and with... Um, mentoring people and whatnot. Um, to be completely honest, uh, I've been in this business two and a half years and um, when I first started, um, I would go back and forth as far as, um, oh gosh, I just lost a train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. I would go back and forth on um, if I was good enough for this business because of what other people would say, what other, um, from the no's that we get, um, from all the negative that comes with, um, this business, but there's negative with everything, but there's also positive. And, uh, through this personal development book that I've been reading, um, it's about an Olympic athlete, Noelle Pikes Pace. And she talks about how that negative, negative, um, I guess, things that happen in our life and how we can change them um, into being something positive as like we can learn from them, we can grow from them, um, we can um, just be better from them. And so rather than taking those negative things and letting them, uh, letting them make us feel bad about ourselves, we should take those negative things and learn from them and grow from them and try to do better. Um, she also talks about what you think about yourself um, or what you think about this business or whatever is 100% true. So if you think I'm not good enough to be a coach for this business because I'm not hitting success club or I'm not hitting rank or I'm not as good as so and so, that's not, not at all if you think that then yeah but it's not how it works you can't focus on the outcome and they talk about this all the time and it's so hard to not focus on the outcome rather than focus on those daily activities that we have control over um, I've invited and sent out messages and um, I've heard back from a few I've heard back from no one like we all go through that and we all struggle so I guess where I'm going with this is that we have to decide that we're in this business because we love helping people and that we want to build those relationships like Carl talked about on the National Wake Up Call last week. Um, and we want to uh, continue down that road um, to help people. Um, this isn't my first network marketing company I've worked in, unfortunately. <laughs> I've done a couple others and I've always heard it takes a good uh, three to five years to really uh, build a solid foundation and build a successful business, which totally stinks. Some people can do it faster, 
by any means, but if you give it three to five years without quitting, you will see success and you will reap the benefits. Um, so don't let rank success club points and other things um, define your value and define who you are as a person. Remember why you signed up and remember to fill that cup um, every day and to um, and don't let other people's opinions or other um, negative thoughts keep you from progressing. So thoughts are, those are my thoughts for uh, today and we are halfway through the month. We still have plenty of time to help people. So really capitalize on the um, challenge pack, the on-demand challenge pack all access. Um, I feel like it is such a benefit and when I tell people that like the 99 is just to cover you know all the programs that's when they're like oh wow that's like such a good deal um, so continue to share um, just because someone says no now doesn't mean that they won't want to um, say yes later so don't write them off um, and just have fun and remember that passion and why you joined so um, I would love to hear any feedback you have how things are going. Um, that's what this group is for, is to support each other. So I will talk to you later. Bye.